Praise the Lord. The Lord is good and his mercies endures forever. Thank God we have started spring. Let us spring to life in all areas. Yesterday I was contemplating to do a video like this and ask if you have any questions, any title you want us to talk about from the Bible. Just ask for it, then I will do it. If not, I was hoping to take maybe up to a month break this spring to just uh, concentrate on my other room, trying to renovate it into my project room. Virtuous woman, sewing project, knitting project, project that we can be doing even as we speak. And we can see how some of us who uh, wanted to be more busy, it's good to have time to study the scriptures, but to be more busy with your hands, that can even turn into a business for you. We can work together as to learn the little time left for you. Let us learn. There are some who call themselves, not because God called them. Imagine the, you know, thumbnail that I was seeing about a pastor who won a bet. I don't know which African country. He won a bet of a hundred million, so I don't know the currency. And so he left the church. He stopped pastoring. And the bit I saw when I told him in the sin, why did he leave the church? Was it supposed to be betting? Gambling? No. Many are thinking that because you have some winnings, because you enjoy some pleasure of sin, you think that's affirmation that God is with you? No. Our reward is in heaven. If you are getting any reward now from those who are turning you against God's word, that's pleasure of sin. If you have ever enjoyed pleasure of sin and you have not repented from that sin, what is coming is the wages of sin. Death. Death. You are taking bribes. You are doing all sorts in your office. God still allows you to wake up. He gives you sleep. You are able to sleep and wake up. Perhaps looking at those you see with the other eye Shouting in her fire, young ones, youths who forgot their Lord God Almighty. According to Ecclesiastes 12, the Lord says, Do not uh, forget your God. Anyone that forgets his or her God will be thrown to hell. Of course, God was talking about him. His son knows his own God, he's just deceiving you that he's serving the living God. He fought against the living God. Until the living God rejected him, Esau, and they became enemies. Malachi 1 to 34. So now he thought the best way to trap you and trap the Pharisee working for them is to say they are working for God. See how many lies on the internet. The very warning of Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, that be careful no one deceives you. That's all. The end time signs. We're in the end time. Many people are still enjoying the pleasure of sin. So I was starting by talking about the teachers of the Lord, the Matthew 23 ones, who sit in the seat of Moses while they were down. Sitting in the seat of Moses. Now they are no more sitting. Mainly they stand on their pulpit. If anyone is saying, this is my pulpit, whether that person is conscious or not, they are pulling people down to the pit. Many people do not know that by your words, whether you even realize the words you are speaking, that you are being judged by heaven. Whether you realize, you may even speak, so people will clap for you. But if a spiritual person hear you, then they know that this is very wrong. What the sorcerer of Acts chapter 8 a social man who held the children of Israel, earthly Israel, bound those who 
weren't taken completely to the Assyrian captivity. When ten tribes, millions, so they will not take all the millions, some will be left, maybe the older ones, the bees to care for the farm, the animals and stuff. While they are enslaved or sleep with them, crossbreed with them. So some of them were the Samaritan woman that the Lord Yeshua was talking to in John chapter 4. God Almighty still knows that they are his own. Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.19 He knows those who are his own. As they were being best, they were written on their forehead, Israel, Israel, Israel. So that no matter where they've been scattered to, in the Egyptian captivity, Babylonian captivity, Persian captivity, whatever captivity, there was a mark that only heaven can know on the forehead of God's people. So God knows those who are his. Even in cross-breeding, God knows how to assess. But God knows what is in the motive of the mind that is even now going after our children. There are some time I did some research with the Holy Spirit helping me. Some know that you are going to inherit the earth, the children of the Messiah God. So they think they can sow their seed into the women of the earth. God knows the motive how to <laughs> defeat his enemy, even when they look like this and think they are winning. He has the final say. So even at the time that the children of Israel were being taken into captivity and things like that, God knew that, yes, they are going to go here and there. He gave Nebuchadnezzar the dream in Daniel chapter 2 of the golden head, the chest of, of um, silver, the tie of bronze, the Greek, that will come and enslave God's people. He knew they will be scattered, they will be killed, they will be done all sorts. So the Lord has made it that he identifies his own people. If you look at the prayer of Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 26, at the end of it, the children of Israel, they have been identified as Israel. So it's not just Jacob Israel that is called Israel. It's individual children. And that's how he will let it out known to the, you know, angels to see the signs so that those angels will know how to save those that are for heaven. If they allow themselves to be saved, at least they are saved in one way or another. Because if you understand Hebrews 13 too, that some have entertained angels unaware. It may be that there's danger. Well, God just happened to be, you know, there in form of his angels to stop the daughter from going the way of kidnappers or things like that. So somebody just, ah, where are you going? It's late, it's getting dark. You want me to give you a lift on the way to the, you know, village there and the girl is kept from danger because she's an Israel waiting for the future when she will meet someone or have an encounter, vision, dream and be saved. Well, the Lord has sees the angels. Some of us, if we look back at that kind of scenario, we will not see the angel, the car, the helper again to show that, ah, that must have been an angel. He just disappeared like that. So anyway, I started by saying, I was thinking, let me just take a month rest for so many obvious reasons. But then again, I was looking at what was happening. I said, Lord, we are not going to continue like this forever. But if we are not on the same space, even spiritually, it will be almost a case of Martha Mary, where Martha could not understand Mary. We have a visitor, the Lord Yeshua is there. If you are there listening to him, you should come and help me. Thanks for watching, dearly beloved, up to this point. I just had to end the video because of one is or the other. So, we shall continue, but the whole point is that I uh, may be taking some breaks in between your questions or any type you want us to talk about. 
I also see the need to go and refuel more in the presence of God to really pray. My prayer life need jump starting on a higher level. God bless you for understanding. Shalom. Check me.